Hi there, this is Adrian from Rumify, and today I'm gonna to tell you about a new module we've been developing to make it easier to create booking experiences in Drupal 8. And so it's called Bookable Entities Everywhere, or B for short. And the short version is that it make you can make any node type bookable. So today I'm just gonna show you a really quick um, demo on simplytest.me, which is an awesome service if you don't know about it. So we're gonna go to this link and just go ahead and launch our sandbox. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're back. Simply Desk.me has built the site and it's fetched B and the dependencies, including the BAT module. And now we're gonna log in and try it out. So first we need to enable the module. And we'll just go ahead and filter down to booking and enable bookable entities everywhere. So there's several dependencies. Uh, we'll just go ahead and continue. And then our next step is going to be to create a content type. And for this example, we're just going to say that we're a small organization that has a couple of meeting rooms, and so you don't need to take payment or anything like that. But everyone just wants to be able to see when the rooms are available and who's going to use them. So we're gonna go ahead and create a content type and call it meeting room. And we'll go with the defaults and then under B, we're gonna say, make this type bookable. And we're gonna choose hourly bookings because it's uh, smaller granularity. So we'll go ahead and save the content type and then add a couple of meeting rooms. So we're gonna add a meeting room. And since I live in Colorado, we're gonna go with uh, a mountain theme. And we'll add that. And we'll go ahead and add another one. And so you'll notice when you have a content type enabled for B, there are a couple of things you can do. You can by default, you're gonna see a view of the availability and you're gonna have a button to add a reservation. And there's some more options that we'll get into another time, including uh, office hours. So we're gonna go ahead and add a reservation for tomorrow. I'm gonna have the room for a couple hours in the morning. So we'll add that. And we'll add one for a couple days from now for the Pikes Peak room. And then we can look at creating a view to show those meetings coming up. We'll add those reservations. And now let's go look at creating a view. So let's go ahead and create a view of upcoming meetings. So let's say add view, coming meetings for the name. And what we're gonna do is show events. And that's an entity type that's provided by BAT. So show all types. Uh, we can narrow it down if you were going to have multiple content types enabled for B. For now, we'll just leave it to all. And we're gonna create a block. And we're gonna show fields and the list is just fine. So the first thing we want to do after we get rid of the operations link, since this is a front end view, is to show the event dates. And so we'll just choose event dates here and configure. And you can choose your kind of your favorite uh, time format um, and probably a custom format would be the nicest to be a bit more compact. But we'll just say meeting time for the label. Then we're gonna want to show a couple of other pieces of information. 
we'd like to be able to show the room. So to do that, we're gonna to have to add a couple of relationships. And so the first one is to the unit. And that's another bat concept. It's another type of entity. And that basically just refers to the thing that's bookable. And so a unit is created for each node. And you can also create multiple units per node for items that might have many of a given type. So we'll add that relationship. And we also want a relationship to the content, which is the node that we've added the meeting room. So if we add that, then we can go ahead and add the room. So we'll look for the content title and select that and give it a label. See that the relationship is selected appropriately. If we go down now, you can see that there's uh, the title of the room and the meeting times. And then let's just go ahead and show the username of the person that made the booking. So we're going to need one more relationship and that is to the user. And what we want is the author of the event, which is the booking. So we'll add that relationship, save it and add a field. and search for the username, add that. And again, it's selected the appropriate relationship. We'll create a label and just call it owner and apply this. So now we've got our information. Let's go ahead and save the view and we'll add it to the site. So we'll go to block layout. And go ahead and put this in the sidebar. And the defaults will be fine. Move it to the top. Save the blocks. Now let's go look at the site. And here we are. And so that's just a quick introduction and overview of B. Uh, the overriding concept is to try and integrate really tightly with Drupal standard site building tools. So views and once it's ready for prime time in Drupal 8, then rules and a number of other modules. So I hope this is useful to a lot of people.